I guess some of you know this issue. You're hustling all week long. It's Friday evening. You like to go home. You forget to clean your airbrushes and spray guns. And when you come back Monday morning, hell breaks loose because the colors are cured. The airbrushes are dirty as hell. And maybe you have no clue how to clean them. So I have a video for you. Some simple and easy tricks how to clean airbrushes without destroying the needles or the nozzles. Let's do it. And I have one bad example here, one of my airbrushes. I'll let the colors cure for the worst case, but keep in mind your spray guns and airbrushes shouldn't look like that. You should clean them every time you use them when the colors are wet. And you can use all my tricks also for wet colors, of course. But if you forgot to clean the airbrush and you have a nightmare like this, let's do the tricks and let's solve the issue. We need also some tools and a cleaner, of course. But you don't have to buy expensive airbrush cleaners. What you can use is simple rubbing alcohol like this. I will link it underneath the video in the description if you like to order it yourself. Find some links to all the stuff I'm using. And what we also need are some cotton buds. Don't use brushes. I use these cotton buds because they are safer than any brush. I'll show you later why. And we need, of course, some paper towels, a cup, and some flat pliers like these. And that's, first, that's the first tool we need because we have to remove the needle and sometimes it's stuck in the airbrush. So remove the needle screw, loose the screw on the back of the airbrush and now we have to remove the needle but be careful. We have to pull it like so. And sometimes you are lucky, sometimes not, but that's the first thing you have to do. In some cases you have bad luck and you can't remove the needle because it's stuck in the airbrush. It's glued by these cured colors. And if you can't remove it easy and you have to apply too much force, leave it like it is. Don't remove it, but be careful. Oh, don't use these needle caps as you can see. So I have to be careful not to bend the needle. Put it in a bucket like this, in a little color bucket. And now you have to add the rubbing alcohol until all areas of the airbrush, which are dusted by color, covered with this alcohol. Now leave it for 30 minutes and then we come back and we clean the airbrush. I have some more dirty airbrushes, this as well and also this one. So put them all in the bucket if you have more than one and let them soak for maybe 30 minutes. Okay, next try to remove the needle. And now it should be very easy to remove the needle. And I like to show you why you shouldn't use any brushes because these brushes have metal parts like these and these metal parts scratch the chrome plated cups of these airbrushes. So don't use them if you don't want to scratch the cups of your airbrush. What's much more efficient are these cotton buds. That's what I'm using. And it's also very easy to clean the cup with a cotton bud like this. And you have to do it several times. Just soak a paper towel with some rubbing alcohol and clean the outside of your airbrush. You can use also the cotton buds to clean the hard to reach areas like these and most of the color is gone. You can rinse the airbrush again with some rubbing alcohol. Use again the cotton bud. And most of the color is gone. But what we have to do is we have to dismount the nozzle because there's still cured color in the nozzle. So we have to dismount it to clean it. And most of these airbrushes come with a little wrench. So let me show you how to dismount and clean the nozzle. At first, take a new paper towel so you can make sure that you don't lose these little nozzle. Use the wrench and unscrew the nozzle, but be careful. Don't use too much force. Put the nozzle on the paper towel and now use the needle of the airbrush. And what I'm doing to clean the nozzle, I insert the needle in the nozzle like so and now I twist the needle along the walls of the nozzle 
Sounds a bit weird, but it helps to lose all this uh, cured color inside the nozzle. But be careful, don't push too hard. Don't push the needles through the nozzle. It will destroy the nozzle, so you have to be very careful. And do it back and forth, back and forth with the needle until there's no color left in the nozzle. And when we are done, we have to mount the nozzle on the airbrush. And I'm starting by hand. And now I'm using the wrench, but do it only hand tight. Be careful, that's enough. Don't use too much pressure or you will destroy the nozzle. And sometimes there's also color in the airbrush if the needle seal is old or broken. So to clean the trigger and all the mechanics of the trigger, I'm using also these cotton buds, some of the rubbing alcohol, and I clean the inside of the airbrush with a cotton bud. And maybe you can see it, it's a little bit dusty and a little bit color on the cotton bud, not much. And that means my needle seal is still intact. And when I've done all these steps, I can mount all parts and I can use the airbrush again, but that's a bit tricky. So let me show you how to mount all these parts. Let's start with the nozzle cap. That's the first part I'm mounting. And the most difficult part is the trigger because there's a little pin on the trigger. Maybe you can see it. And you have to insert this pin in the air valve. So make sure it sits in the air valve. So make sure you can push the air valve with the trigger. And when you've done that, you can mount the mechanics. And on the mechanics, there's a little lip, this one, and it has to be upright. On the trigger, screw it in. Now you can insert the needle. Tighten the needle screw and we are good to go. Now we have to do a test. So I fill in some of the rubbing alcohol. I need the air hose. What I'm doing is I'm putting my two fingers on the nozzle and I have a backlash into the cup. All the air goes right back into the cup. And that's what I'm doing several times. And there should be no color seen on the paper towel if we have done everything right. And it looks very good. There's only rubbing alcohol on the paper towel. And maybe you ask yourself why I don't use the handles and the needle caps. That's very simple. I don't use these needle caps so I can clean the needle during airbrushing. And I don't use these handles so I can open the needle screws and I can move the needle back and forth to remove any color stuck in the airbrush. Sometimes color stuck in the airbrush and to remove it and to clean the airbrush, I move the needle back and forth during airbrushing. And these are the two reasons why I don't use the handles and the needle caps. And that's how I clean my airbrushes as a professional custom painter and airbrush artist. I have to clean some more of these guns. I hope my tips were helpful for you. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye.